the other day I found this really interesting YouTube video that talks about React Native and some updates that they are doing and for those who don't know uh, React Native uh, it was developed previously before Flutter and it basically allows you to write your application using HTML, JavaScript and uh, CSS. The beautiful thing about React Native is that a lot of web developers like me was able to move into uh, it without having to know another language uh, like, I don't know, like Swift or Java that now it is Kotlin. But the bad thing was that React Native was a little bit slow because um, it was running on a web view. It is basically if you open a tab of your browser and you run a, a, a website. And as far as I know, so uh, please <laughs> don't get me wrong uh, if I see something that is not completely true. This is what I have read uh, previously. Now, um, the problem is this. Uh, I decided to, to learn Flutter, to invest my time uh, and effort on Flutter. One, because it is cross-platform, obviously, but it is a lot faster than React Native. I never took a look at React Native because I didn't like that uh, a big gap, I would say, between React Native and the native applications. Uh, I, and I wanted some application that would look really near the native applications, uh, at least in terms of speed, until uh, Flutter came out and it was really, really fast. And that was amazing. I really liked Flutter, so I decided to go into it. Now, the only problem that I found with Flutter, it is the web. I think the web, it is really messed up the web part and i mean this for the reason of seo for the reason that for example if you go in on a flutter website you understand that that website it is flutter from many things for example the scroll or how the page interacts it, it is really strange i was previously a web developer so in the few years back for now are i think five six years that i work in the web i have also worked with flash and things like that so the point is this um on the web i still use javascript html things like that now i have just learned react so i i use react and things like that i never and ever have used flutter for these reasons i would say that flutter it is uh, a competitor of React Native. And even, even if they don't say it out loud, but obviously they are competitors. And obviously, uh, in my opinion, they will try to do a better job to, to gain more popularity, more people, and to get more people to use them. So the point uh, that is with React Native, uh, as I have seen here, they are trying to make React Native uh, go really fast. And for example, they are doing it by, uh, in this case, rewriting their their serialization process uh, by using C++. And as you can see here, uh, since it's written with C++, it will not be uh, no more serialization into JSON as uh, Hitesh have explained. This is his channel, so if you want to go into uh, this video, so thank you so much for this video. And yes, so uh, it will be a lot fast. Probably it will be uh, fast. Uh, it will be as good as Flutter. I really don't understand why the Flutter team does not care about working into taking a look uh, and trying to solve the SEO problem. And they say that it is cross platform but it is not really cross-platform it is uh, for now for example i use it i love it it is really great to write your application uh, i use it for writing application in all other platforms except the web 
it seems that the Flutter team uh, doesn't take seriously the SEO problem and they don't really care too much about it. You can see this, uh, for example, in the roadmap. They have released a 2022 roadmap and there is no uh, information about it. And they basically treat, I think they treat Flutter exactly as flash so for those who don't know flash was uh, was used previously in the web and few years back was even used really heavily but uh, it was suffering for an important problem that it is the seo problem so even if you made a website that was amazing uh, you were not able to make it show on the web so i'm not pretty sure why the, they don't care Maybe, I don't know, internally they are, they are writing some way to make the crawler understand the, uh, the text without having to, to rely on JavaScript, maybe with artificial intelligence, maybe possible, we don't know. Uh, maybe it is like this, this is why uh, they don't care. But uh, uh, what I'm saying is that it is web-like. I don't think that is it is really web so so i just wanted to point out this thing and that react native for example now i don't know i think that this package is written by other people that are outside uh, from the react team but it is a really interesting uh, interesting project to know it has 769 stars uh, it is still a proof of concept, but it is a huge idea, I think, because if they do something like this, uh, I really think that uh, Flutter will drop a lot uh, of their user because React is uh, really more cross cross platform uh, than than Flutter, and also well. When writing web and, for example, with React, you're able by writing CSS, you can split things up and it is not really like, um, like Flutter that uh, things tend to be a lot tied together. And if you want to do style, uh, it is a little bit problematic. I understand you, that you can put all your styles in other files but it is a lot different than uh, writing uh, CSS in a separate file uh, in the web. So I just wanted to talk a little about uh, about this topic and this is you can take this as a rant uh, from me. And I'm really sad that the React team does not care really too much about CO and Flutter because otherwise it will be a really, really amazing uh amazing framework toolkit call it uh, w whatever you want and um, yeah i just wanted to say some few words about uh the react native and their development